all over the map, stuff from all over the country, works by people who aren't in the upper echelons of a fairly stratified elite that I think is taking over video to a certain extent. Um, strong words, but I think nobody's at fault. We need to have a second generation of video artists who are better, who can be pointed to to supplant people who are criticized for being the quote-unquote video stars and such. In this particular series, the regional fellowships, I think, demonstrated that there are a few people out there well deserving of a great deal of attention, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yet another welcome. Certain things, however, have stayed the same with the festival, and I trust will go on staying the same. Uh, this year, we have premieres of 25 works uh, from the independent video community, which are really the heart and soul of this festival, the expression, the individual uh, independent expression on video has always been the heart and soul of the festival, and we hope it continues to be. that we are here in California and in the LA area where Hollywood and so on um, we're familiar with that people like you coming from the East Coast and paying attention to this kind of a, a festival I think is, is really healthy. Technology is something that we all have in common, and television is the more commercial side. What you guys do with the low side and, and cable is, I think, closer to my heart. The festival has matured to the stage that we now say with a great deal of confidence that its name, the National Video Festival, is truly a misnomer. It is neither national nor video. It is international. Uh, and as we say, it is not limited to video at all. We absolutely need your criticism so that next year it can be even better. To have invited uh, uh, Paper Tiger Television to come and record the festival. We would ask you to participate with them, collaborate with them, and express your feelings about the festival as candidly as you'd like so that we can digest it. Last night, after a long day of viewing, a group of us went to a Hollywood landmark, the Formosa Cafe. It was an American Cantonese Chinese restaurant filled with Hollywood atmosphere. Six of us sat there and we ordered many different dishes. When the food arrived, unfortunately, it all looked the same. It all tasted the same. It was brown and greasy and limp. Yet the restaurant itself, the photos of all the stars, the ambience of this little place with its red and green upholstery was terrific. No denying that. Yet we left with a strange brown taste in our mouths, a feeling of oncoming indigestion. The contents and the package were two separate entities. Our registration fee for the full four days from yesterday to Sunday, from Thursday through Sunday, is $85. For one day, is $25. A lot of producers here, people who want to buy or sell videos, just you know, lots of people interested in the industry and what's coming for the 1990s. Thank you, 1990.
I'm not interested in work that isn't personal. It doesn't mean anything to me. Something that's supposed to serve some alleged audience out there. Um, that's okay for that alleged audience, but I am not one of them. So I don't belong to that audience. Now you come, we come to the conclusion. See, our family believes that the process of making images is to be highly personal. From tools to ways in which it's done and put together. So it's a personal mystique. It may have no value at all. People say, no, no, we just rent a camera and because we have a talent, we transcend this process. We we'll just go from this concept to the illusion and it appears on the screen and people love it. But we still believe there's something, you know, like the smell of the paint, you know, these kind of idiosyncratic moments. 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 Hi, good. I like the music, it sounds good, it sounds nice. It's a cool camera you've got there. A friend lent it to me, um, brought it down here so I could film both people who watched my new film screen here. Um, I'm a musician and I came out to, you know, I have this song and I, you know, I want to get a, a music video done and I'm trying to you know, meet people and, you know, see how, see how the uh, industry works. Have you had good luck? Have you had good luck? Know, how do I, you know, find people that want to put money into doing this kind of a thing? Or God, I don't know. Work I made. I made. I don't know. I made my last video with a thousand dollar grant. Yeah, how'd you One thousand dollar grant. Who gives you grants? Well, I sent away to that NEA uh, regional thing, uh -huh. and um, it was smart. They realized that you know, video makers can actually finish a tape for like a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, and I think that takes a lot of guts, you know, because so a lot of people. Think, so you think it's like I should think about doing a video as opposed to like doing a film? Oh, no, I know. Like I think you personally song. have enough talent to do a thirty-five millimeter kind of film to tape transfer, rank centel and special value. I would if I was you I would try to raise like a hundred, two hundred thousand yeah, so dollars. You could you could put a down payment on your house with that if you wanted to. I don't even have a freaking house. Well that's why you, you see that's what I'm saying, you know? It was like for the first time in a long fucking while I s it was like the whole idea of anybody that wanted to create was out there, like that guy who was like an aircraft person and did all of this stuff on, you know, like on Finding Jesus, like in that wide shot. It was like beautiful. It was like the first time since like half inch black and white video that I had this feeling that that creativity and self-expression and what's on one's mind was still possible and it's like been 10 years and I'm... Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. The Channel 4 culture is one which has come out of a, a regulated public broadcasting system and is therefore calling forth work which is within its image in, in a sense. Whereas of course the American experience, as far as I understand it, as an outsider, is of a commercial system calling forth, in terms of the networks, calling forth uh, a commercial broadcasting independent sector. So I think that's that that's very important. You just can't abstract mm -hmm. the, the independent producers or the indiv independent video makers from the totality of the market. Um, and we in Britain have historically had a very different television market. So. We uh, directly commission quite a, uh, programs in the UK and to some extent elsewhere um, from independents. Um, we also Perhaps one of the more unusual things that we do is that we finance about between 15 and 20 workshops spread throughout the whole of Great Britain, different most major cities, um, where the way that works is not an individual commission, but it's giving uh, groups um, an annual amount of money. Some of them work on sort of two, three-year contracts, and they produce work, and we then select and buy back uh, some of the work that they've produced. So those are the main two sources. We then um, buy complete, some completed work, 
and from outside the UK, it's generally we generally contribute to budgets on a pre-purchase, you know, on a pre-purchase basis. Um, so the way that we work in Europe or the States or in the third world would generally be contributing to a budget with other financiers. Yeah. At the present moment, it seems a bit utopian to imagine that you could have a channel like Channel 4 on American television. I don't think it's, it's a real possibility. Distribution, I really think that's the name of the game. Anybody can make a videotape, but what do you do with it? It's like the gathering of the tribes. That's the exciting part of the festival. It's what's going on up in the lobby of the Goodson. I think it's a great networking place. I think that the networking is probably the plus, the real plus. It's good resume material. So hobnobbing, elbow rubbing. Dissolve. It eases transitions, it greases the edges, it smooths out the rough, aggressive, momentary lapse of a hard cut. It is used to make a time transition like slow motion, another overused figure of speech and video, another punctuation point. We might say that there is an effort to slow down the runaway anxiety of these images and their purposes in the real world. The dissolve, dissolution, blurring boundaries, softening the edges. Is the use of the dissolve, dissolution, an analogy for the inconclusiveness of solving problems in video? Where is the context for video art? Is it dissolving into facilely accepted institutions, little careers, and ambiguous criticism? <laughs> I don't know what to say about this festival. Uh, you know, I've seen some good things uh, uh, at it, but uh, I'll, what I missed about it was people. Uh, I would have, you know, liked lots more people to be here, not because to see the films we've brought, but just to communicate. And I ran into some students last night at a public meeting I was doing, totally unconnected with the festival, uh, and lots of students said, oh, we knew you were in town. Uh, and we'd like to see the films, but uh, we can't afford $25 to come in. And could we borrow the films and show them to students on the campus? And it made me ask myself, where are you, brother? <laughs> you know? Hi, my name's Mary. Hi, Mary, how you doing? This I heard your tape, sounds really good. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you like it. Um, you know, I came out looking uh, interested in somebody, maybe, maybe you'd want to work with me. Deal or something. Uh, could be, could be. Yeah. Uh, let me give you my card. Oh, great, great. Here you go. Uh -huh. Oh, actually, Robert no, that's Jacobs. Uh, no, that's uh, my accountant's card. Here, here's my card. Oh, well, you know, I don't know, maybe I could use one of those. You need an accountant? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Well, hey, thanks a lot. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. Good give luck me a call. Too. Give me a call. Bye bye. Hardware and software uh, collaborating artists and uh, uh, industries collaborating is a very good uh, thing to do. Video culture. 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 People more creative and uh, they become more, uh, they will buy more equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Sony in Japan would never do this. They can't do that because of your tax situation. Sony can give a lot of money and deduct it from the their income. Whereas in Japan, if they give uh, you know big sum of money, they have to pay half of that as tax to the government besides giving the money. So Sony will never do this in Japan. I mean, they can't afford to do it in Japan. The abundance of talent imagination and creative work we have here is remarkable. It stimulates us. At Sony, there are thousands of people around the, working around the clock to come up with new and innovative technology, which will challenge your imagination and creativity. Sony gets great pleasure when our products capture the interests of millions around the world and become a vehicle of self-expression. However, 
No matter the medium, no matter the product, the technology, or the design, the key ingredient is your spirit and your originality. That's why we come here every year to see firsthand what creative people can do with video when free to dream and use their imagination artistically. Well, what's your concept? Given that we are tremendously underfunded this year, and since the very existence of the festival has been questioned by folks who think that AFI ought to serve its real constituency, i.e. network TV, we need all the support we can get. To be honest, I really don't have a formulaic answer to this. Was this part of an agenda to exclude women? The this festivals. year I have identified a series of special interest programs which, to my view, should always be considered more important than simply special interest. I'd ask you to make the distinction between the agenda as spoken by the programs themselves and the context in which we have tried to bring the programs together. The festival staff is 100% women. Why the imbalance? To be honest, I really don't have a formulaic answer to this beast known as the AFI, precisely so that they may at least impact upon that mainstream. I hope we can draw these lines since a discussion, as critical as it might be, of those larger issues is absolutely crucial to how such a festival can better help to speak largely unspoken voices. Over 85% of the unsolicited submissions were by men. Does the imbalance in the premieres carry over to the rest of the festival? I'm not sure how to answer this one. Good representation. Well, we did this. We did this uh, count, and we counted like how many minutes there are of premieres. Yeah, and then more men. Okay. The, well, you want the statistics? Yes. A, a thousand minutes of premieres by men, and ten minutes of premieres by women. You know the. The one thing that I really, really liked was uh, down in that reception thing, mm -hmm. they have these little bagels, really little bagels, and, they've, um, and I haven't had little bagels, because you know, usually bagels are big, and I think that's, that's a real strong point of festivals, I think, for the participants that they, the even... Is the first year they've had them? I'm not sure if they had bagels last year, but little, they may have had bigger bagels, but this wow. they have little bagels, and um, they have that great cider that kind of sparkles too. I don't know, do they have that in New York? This Martinelli's, Martinelli's do they have Martinelli's yeah, Martinelli's I, really expensive though. I, I always thought that was kind of a, you know, a California thing, but I like the bagels. I think there's one thing about AFI that's really been great. It's been the, the bagels uh -huh. or the cream cheese. I mean, but that's probably just my Jewish heritage, you know. Well, you guys are from New York, right? You know, hey, right? Yeah. Do, you have, do they have little bagels in New York? They have every kind of bagel you want. They have lots of kind of bagels. Bagel, 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 bagel
But um, but it's just uh, you know I think the the great thing even though you know some people you know don't go to your screenings and maybe us who are the you know uh, maybe the next generation of young video artists don't get all our videos screened like during the real part of the you know two people came to my screening it's um I think the good good thing about this festival is it gives a chance for everybody nationwide to you know a lot of the independent people to to, to rap to each other mm -hmm. and to to get drunk or to uh, remember we were talking about that alcohol versus watching video yeah. thing, you know. Maybe that ties it in. But, uh, Do you think people come here but they're more interested in talking and actually seeing each other stuff? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think, I don't know. I don't know. I know. Like so right now, we should be in there watching like um, a premiere of um, Woody Volsuka's video, you know. Instead we're out here. Instead we're out here and, and we're... Network ourselves into something. Well, you want to get a music video contract yeah. and I just want to get a few people to see my video, but that's all right. You know, I guess when it's, if things are on, you know, the great thing about video is that it, one day it'll end up on television and, you know, uh -huh. you know, mom and dad at home will see it, you know, you know, but, uh, anyways, thanks for talking to me. Sure. Good luck. Thanks. criticize what can only be termed the hegemony of power over independent production. 